Hey guys, Dave here with another quick tutorial on how to get PlayStation 1 games on iOS 7. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to get that with RetroArch right here, the little Space Invaders icon. All right, before anything, before anything, go on Cydia and I'm going to show you guys how to get all the required tweaks and files that you need in order to run the the uh the PlayStation emulator perfectly. All right, first you're going to need to go to Cydia. Main thing you need or well, you should have this already by now, iFile. You need iFile. This is this is crucial for everything. You need iFile. And if you don't know how to get iFile, you know, just type in iFile and it should show up. The second uh, thing you need is a, saf a Safari uh, download plugin. And you just type in Safari. Don't download Safari download man uh, enabler, manager, none of those work for iOS 7. It's not compatible. The one that I found was that was compatible <clears throat> for iOS 7 was Safari Download Plugin. Just type in Safari in the search bar and it should pop up. It's in the big boss repo, so you know, you should you should have it. Download this. That is crucial. And the next thing you need to download is RetroArch. Download that. This is the emulator that you're gonna have to that you're gonna use to run the PlayStation games. It's actually a multi emulator. You can run between Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo. The list goes on. I'm not really gonna get into too much details, but yeah, and they run PlayStation perfectly. I'm talking perfectly. No lag. No frame skips. Nothing. Just perfect. It's amazing how f how fast it is. But anyway, once you have those, once you have those uh, all those files. First, you're gonna have to uh go to iFile. Go to iFile. And make sure you're in mobile, right? And there should be a documents folder here. And mobile, you won't you won't see none of this. The only thing you will see in this is probably the com dot apple sp. What you need to do to see the dot retro file, uh, the dot retro arch. You have to run it. So click the retro arch, the retro arch um app, and keep it running, and go back to iFile. And then go down here where, where uh, the cogs are at for the settings, preferences, go to file manager, and you see hidden files, you want to you wanna switch that on, keep, uh, keep that on, so you'll be able to see the retro arch folder. And this, this is the file you're going to put all the bios, the PlayStation bios in, and you're going to have to, you're going to need the uh, SCPH. 1001 SC, SC, SCPH 500 uh 5500 SCPH 500 5502 and SC SCPH uh 7502 Those are the four files you need those are uh PlayStation BIOS, so they're gonna run the the um, uh, the the game itself, make them smooth, make the game run fast. Okay, so that being said, when you have that finished, now we're gonna have to find the BIOS, and that's where Safari Download Plugin comes in. Go to Safari. Okay, and just simply type in play PlayStation 
BIOS, just like that. Oh, PlayStation is wrong, but hey, PlayStation BIOS. And the first, it should go to Emu Paradise. That's just where you're going to have to download the the PlayStation, PlayStation BIOS. So click the link. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm kind of sick, so don't mind my voice. Go down. Don't go too fast. But go down and find PlayStation BIOS. It should say right here. See? PSX BIOS Pack. And it just says 15 images. Download that. Go there. And then this is what this is the menu you're gonna get for the uh the download. So you just click download. Click download. You know what? I'm just download for the sake of the uh video. So download. It's not that big of a file, it's only three megabytes. Just wait for that to be done. <clears throat> okay, it's almost done. Okay, it's finished. See, it will say download complete at the top right there where you click download. And you just back out. Go back to iFile. And back out of uh, documents. And go to applications. And it, for me, it, it's different. Like the file. So you're going to have to check. You know, if you have a lot of applications, you're going to be here for a while. Because it took me so long to find this this file. So, you know, just keep keep browsing. You know, keep browsing. But what you want to look for is... um, I know which one it is. It's this one. No, it's not that one. It's this one. Yes. Is it? No. It's not it. You're gonna you're gonna look for you wanna look for damn Safari. It should say something Safari. There we go. Mobile yeah, there we go. Mobile Safari dot app. And then once you find this, go to library and then downloads right here. And your file should be there. The PSX file the uh folder. So click that unarchive it into the folder and you should get this um this little folder right here and here are all the bios that you need for um but the main ones that you only need is 1001 um 5500 5502 uh, 5502 and 7502 and just copy you know just copy copy those and go back you don't really you don't really need uh you don't really need this after you're done so you could just delete that All right, go back to documents right here. Go back to documents and click on the retro arch app. And then simply, you know, it's not highlighted, but just paste them into this folder. There should be nothing in this folder, nothing. And after you've done that, you're going to have to rename them. Renamed them because they're all capitalized and they have PSX on it. Renamed them. Change the SCPH lowercase. They have to be lowercase. And also the bin. So keep bin and SCPH lowercase. Just leave the numbers there. But change the... um And don't uh, don't leave any spaces or anything. This will mess it up. 
And once you're done with that, bam, you are finished. You are finished and you, you're you ready to download some games. <laughs> All right, guys, that was part one to this uh, tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, configure RetroArch. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.